Yo, what is good, everybody? And thank you so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So as you can see in front of me, we have the Yeezy Boost Quantum. Now, this shoe might look familiar as I did feature this sneaker in one of my previous vlogs a few months back. Now, if you guys do recall, I was smitten over those sneakers, but unfortunately, they were not my size. That in tandem with the fact that the price was pretty high on that specific pair as it was a very, very early pair. I reluctantly had to walk away from that pair, be patient, and wait for the official release of the sneakers. Fortunately, we have some very, very generous people in the Facebook group and very lucky ones for that matter. And today we do have the sneakers here in front of us. And this is essentially everything you need to know before the big release coming up very shortly. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, guys, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and talk about the basics, the essential information that you need to know about these sneakers. So as of this very moment, the sneaker was exclusively released in Chicago during the NBA All-Star Weekend. But there is a very, very good chance you guys already know that as some of the videos of the release of the sneaker absolutely went viral. Now, if you're like myself and are a part of the general public and were not lucky enough to hit on these sneakers, we needed to wait four additional months as the official release date worldwide for the sneaker is May 16th. The retail price on these sneakers is $250, which puts it right around that standard Yeezy market price. Of course, resale will be substantially higher, but we'll talk about that later in the video. Anyways, with all that being said, there are two versions of this sneaker and not gonna lie to you, I did source this information from one of my personal favorite sneaker YouTubers, Seth Fowler, who actually sourced it from Yeezy Mafia. As it turns out, the main differences between the basketball version versus the lifestyle version is that the basketball version does feature a little less 3M and was geared more towards performance. This includes a clear TPU cage, which gives you that feeling of comfort and support and just feeling like you're locked in, as well as a heel counter that's been a little bit more slimmed down for those agile players who require a little bit more mobility. Now, if you're wondering, the basketball version actually has yet to release as it was the lifestyle version that was released during All-Star Weekend in Chicago. Like I said, the release was wild and pairs were extremely limited. Now, with that being said, I'm actually surprised where the resale market is at as of today, as this was a very, very exclusive and limited sneaker, and almost all of us are relegated to the resale market if you want to acquire these sneakers. But surprisingly enough, as of this moment, resale isn't too, too bad. Now, don't get me wrong, $700 is definitely a lot of money, but we've seen Yeezys go for a whole lot more during pre-release. Anyways, as soon as these sneakers drop, I do anticipate resale going down for a second and then climbing back up as time progresses. Now, don't quote me on that because I'm certainly no expert. All right, guys, so now for the all-important question, sizing. So as of right now, these shoes only come in whole sizes. So that means seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Those are the only sizes listed on StockX right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are more sizes down the line. Anyways, with that being said, I was able to try on a size eight in that vlog you guys may have seen and found that they fit really, really snug. I probably would have been able to pull them off, but I much, much more prefer the size nine. Now, with that being said, my standard size is a size eight and a half and a size nine in most Adidas. Now, just before I talk about how I would style the Easy Quantums, I did want to do a quick little overview of these sneakers. Easy Quantums are on the bulkier side, somewhat resembling more of the 500s and the 700s rather than the 350s or the 350v2s. The upper is comprised of a few different layers of material woven together to ensure comfort and breathability. The toe box is suede, the tongue and the ankle are comprised of neoprene, and the center panel is comprised of a few different layers of mesh, feels like prime knit, and a little bit of TPU material for stability and added structure. Now moving on to the midsole and the outsole, we have boost material wrapped in a little bit of rubber for traction. As you've seen time and time again, we do have the patented boost window for a little bit of design aesthetics very, very clean sneaker for sure. Okay, so now onto what types of bottoms I would personally be wearing with these sneakers. For me, I would definitely stay away from denim or any heavier types of pants. But outside of that, I think these would be pretty versatile, whether you wear sweatpants, cargos, athletic pants, or shorts. Any of those styles of bottoms, in my humble opinion, would look good, with the exception really only being denim. Now, that's not to say I'm right by any stretch. This is just my opinion. But yeah, if you guys would like to see a full styling video 
with these sneakers, definitely hit that thumbs up button and comment down below that you'd like to see that. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as it does let me know to keep the content coming. Be sure to comment down below what you guys think about these sneakers, what you think about resale, and if you're personally going to go for them. As always, guys, it is a major privilege of mine to get to do what I get to do here on YouTube. So thank you so much for the continued support. If you're new to the channel and you decide to stick around, please hit that subscribe button with notifications on. And now as I end every video here at Locust of Wild Honey, I'm going to say peace and be blessed.